Hello everybody, The Quiet Atheist here yet again with another very interesting story for you guys today. This next story that I'm going to be talking with you guys about involves a pastor who goes by the name of Creflo Dollar. I'm pretty sure that you guys are familiar with this idiot. Well, the story talks about how Creflo Dollar basically had a crowdfunding campaign for a $65 million plane, if you will, this multi-millionaire had a crowdfunding campaign for a $65 million plane because he wanted to allegedly spread the word of Jesus, if you will. Now, I'm going to read a part of this article with, with you guys because I want you guys, again, as always, to become more familiar with this particular idiot. Because when it comes to these prosperity preachers, if you will, they are some of the most dishonest people within Christianity that I have ever heard about. And they are prime examples of how Christianity is dishonest, how this religion likes to manipulate people. So with that said, again, I want to read a part of this article to you guys. Remember how Pastor Creflo Dollar, who has a net worth of $27 million, owns a million-dollar home in Atlanta and a $2.5 million apartment in Manhattan, drives a Rolls-Royce, and travels via private jet wanted to buy a plane worth $65 million. He was hoping 200,000 people would donate at least $300 each toward that goal to simply spread the word of Jesus, allegedly, of this alleged God, if you will. This is very disgusting to me, and it makes people like me very, very angry. I'm pretty sure that it has made a lot of people angry. But basically, he was called out on his bullshit, and his crowdfunding campaign was taken down, and he come up with one of the most stupidest and ignorant excuses that I have ever heard in my entire life. He basically said, and I quote, the devil tried to discredit my voice. No, you tried to con a lot of people out of their hard-earned money, Mr. Creflo Dollar. This is the type of person that I am disgusted with. You and many other people like you are disgusting individuals because you think it's necessary to prey on gullible people, to take their hard-earned money away from them just to line your pockets with it. You are a poor excuse for a human being. I am against the what you do in life. I'm against what you stand for. And I will continue to have these piss positions because you have a piss poor view on life. Your morality sucks and you will never accomplish anything as far as truth is concerned. You know, I have a big problem with Christianity and I think that it's pretty safe to say that uh, you guys are aware of this. You know, because Christianity promotes this idea, you know, a dishonest idea, if you will, that if you contribute all of this money to these people, these preachers, these pastors, that everything will be good for you, you know. When in all actuality, it's just lining their pockets. You know, Christianity, you know, really promotes this idea, this false idea that somehow a person's life is going to be better if they donate money to this, if they donate money to that, you know. But in reality, it's just lining the pockets of people that are going to con them. That's it. Plain and simple. It isn't going anywhere nice. It isn't going anywhere to help others. It is only helping the people that are conning them out of their money. People, again, need to be educated. I have said this many times before. When it comes to education, it is extremely important. Because if these people were more educated on issues like this, they would see through the bullshit that this religion has to offer. They would see through the bullshit that these preachers, these pastors, all of these people have to offer. And they would literally stop it, I think. They would literally stop donating this money to a bunch of con men that are trying to take it away from them. I think that if they are educated, it would stop, basically. But I personally see that this isn't going to go away anytime soon. You know, this type of thing is really going to be hard to get rid of because there's always going to be gullible people out there 
that are willing to buy the nonsense that these idiots and that this religion has to offer. You know, it's something that has again always pissed me off. You know, because a lot of people really throw critical thinking away when it comes to issues like this. You know? I think that the influence that Christianity has is very horrible because it destroys a lot of lives and this is just another prime example of that plain and simple something like this should never happen in the first place people should never be conned out of their money people shouldn't be selling others fairy tales or bullshit I might add just to line their pockets with cash it's ridiculous it really is Life isn't going to get any better if this continues to happen. It is only going to get worse. And that's all I have to say about this issue. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. How do you guys feel about this issue? Share this video with anyone that might be interested, whether it be on Facebook, Google+, Tumblr, Reddit, Yahoo, or wherever you guys hang out. Till next time, the Quiet Atheist is out. And remember, if you can't be good, be good at it. Most of all, Thank you for watching and I will see you next video.